You know, I am also the secretary to the Bielsa Information Public Information Management Committee. So, although I'm here in the capacity of Amen. social media, mm -hmm. I am also privy to what we have compiled. And uh, since uh, government is, we are, we are, we are in the same government, and we are. We have to exchange ideas on how to improve on service delivery. So for upwards of three months, we have been uh, compiling reports. Uh, frankly, our earlier meetings helped a lot uh, because uh, we were able to answer so many, close to 80% of the questions they posed, both on the social media, on phone calls and so on. Uh, it will interest you to note that when I made a call yesterday, I was with five, five students in my office who said they had applied and that uh, please I should use my influence to ensure that they, uh, they are given scholarships. So I brought out the criteria for the award of scholarship. So it's like the story of uh, the, ad the adulteress. They wanted to stone her. But Christ said, if there is any among you that has not sinned, just cast pelt the first pebble at her. And gradually, when they looked at the criteria and everything, gradually all of them started to say, oh God, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So it's like that. We are quietly actually working for this board. Boma Sparrow Jack, you know him. Yeah. Uh, we have entertained several complaints. We have had occasions to invite people to our committee, discuss with them and so on. Maybe when that committee comes, maybe if they schedule a time to come, uh, then officially they will tell you how much we have been working. Okay. Now, uh, about 789 scholarships were awarded. As at the last time we visited you. Uh, the social media is such a dynamic enterprise that if you put a figure and after maybe three, four, five months, there are no updates. You know, people get uh, worried. I was in Sagama the other day to present a lecture. They call it Sagama Youth uh, Day, September 12 or so. Yeah, yes. And they confronted me with this uh, question of scholarship and so on. So what we are really here for is to get facts, to provide an update on earlier foundations we had already laid. Now specifically, we've been hearing complaints, both phone calls, text messages, about delay in the payment of scholarships. And these complaints came, you know, from the UK, Russia, Ukraine and uh, Belarus. Okay. Yes. Uh, ordinarily, I shouldn't even ask this question because, from what you said yesterday, you said they have been for seven months and they have been paid three months. And some are asking, why have you not paid the, the whole? <laughs> As if money is just somewhere like uh, a pond where you go and fetch. Yeah. Uh, so, the ordinarily, I shouldn't have asked this question. So, in the interest of those who are not privy to our discussion, yes. may we, sir, know the situation now of the occup allowances paid to them? That yes. is number one. Number okay. two, maybe you take the two together. Our students are scattered. We got a list from you. Mm. Even St. Vincent, yeah. Grenada, so many, are they up to 12 or even 15 uh, universities? Over 30. Over outside 30, yeah, uh -huh. outside Nigeria. Now, 
we also discovered that the last time we came, you talked about you know some complications and bank transactions and so on. Yes. So what is your board doing to ensure that we narrow the scope of the number of schools we are sending the scholarship recipients to? Is there a way we can narrow down the scope and deal with very few in the light of you know the policy thrust of the government? Because a couple of days ago we met with the governor and he said, look, uh, he is looking at the situation where it's like we are dealing with too many schools. A situation where we could have very few schools, government will dump some money and even sign MOU so that even the fees we pay will come down. So what is your board doing in this respect? Okay, thank you very much.